Hi guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So y'all, iPad OS 26 is officially out and it came with some fighting new features. In this video, I'm putting you on to the new apps and updates you're going to want to try. Starting with the clock on your lock screen, you can customize it a little more. A box will appear around it and you can drag to resize and adjust the look. You can also switch up the color to match your wallpaper or use the slider to adjust the transparency. The next big update is the new liquid glass design. It has a sleek, transparent vibe. To turn this on, go to your home screen, tap the top corner until the edit button appears, then hit edit and select customize. Then you'll see a few different options to choose from. You can toggle this little sun icon to quickly brighten or dim your wallpaper. Default and dark mode are just your classic light and dark settings. Clear is what gives your widgets and apps a see-through look so that liquid glass really pops. Tinted is where you'll find the most customization. You can change the colors of your apps and widgets to whatever you like. So the liquid glass design flows throughout your entire iPad, including your control center and other settings, which is pretty cool. Up next is a major update is the all new multitasking features. Child, now you can drag from the bottom right corner to adjust your window size so you can have several windows open in any layout you need. I've heard it's kind of like Stage Manager but more seamless. Since my 10th generation didn't have Stage Manager, I'm super excited to try this out. With quick gestures, you can line your windows up side by side and they'll fit perfectly on the screen. Honestly, this feels very similar to Split View. It's perfect if you want to play music while taking notes or doing some digital planning. You can even swipe up to quickly access your home screen. There are also preset views. Just go to Window, tap Move and Resize, and then select Quarters, and all your windows will fit perfectly on the screen. Apple did a big one because this is multitasking at its finest. I'm obsessed with how much you can customize your windows and even stack them above or below each other, giving you tons of flexibility. If you know you know, this is the same menu bar you see on MacBooks. This is why people keep saying your iPad is starting to feel like a computer. Not gonna lie, it is giving computer vibes with these controls. You'll notice new control buttons in the top left corner, and yes, they match the ones you see on the MacBook. I kept hearing about this journal app, so of course I had to check it out and see what all the hype was about. It was originally on the iPhone, but now it's on the iPad too. What's really cool is that it's free and it keeps everything synced with your iPhone automatically. The journal app is perfect for capturing thoughts, moments, and daily reflections. You can add photos, videos, audio notes, and even location details to your entries so it feels more like a scrapbook instead of just plain text. One of the best parts about using Journal on the iPad is being able to tap into all the creative tools that come with the Apple Pencil. You've got pencils, highlighters, and pens to play around with, or you can just type. So it feels like a regular digital journal, but with way more freedom to create your own way. It even has a mood tracker you can add, which is Chef's Kiss. So you can capture exactly how you were feeling in the moment, from very pleasant to neutral to not so great. Not gonna lie, it does live up to the hype. Moving on to an update I've been looking forward to, folders can finally be customized and honestly, it's about time. So now your folders don't have to all be the same boring blue. You can switch it up, organize, and tag them with different colors, icons, and emojis. More customization options make staying organized so much easier. Now it's possible to place folders directly on your dock. All you have to do is drag and drop and you'll have quick access to that folder in its files. If you want to take the folder off your dock, just press and hold it, then tap options, then hit remove from dock. All right, let's get into messages. You can now switch up your chat backgrounds in iMessage. Just open the person's contact and messages and you'll see a new section called backgrounds. You can choose a background from your photos or just use one of the new ones that Apple added. You can choose from Aurora, water, sky, and color. I'm really feeling how you can set different backgrounds for each contact or group chat. It really makes messaging way more fun and just gives each conversation its own little vibe. There's also a new app called Preview for handling documents and files. Not only can you manage images, PDFs, and other files, you can also scan things too. 
For example, if you got a physical document and you need it in digital form, just use the camera to scan it and add it straight to your files. So yeah, y'all, those are all the iOS updates I wanted to share. I definitely recommend updating your devices if you haven't yet. Drop your favorite features in the comments. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.